farming fans and welcome to our YouTube channel. After our test drive of the new quad track in the Czech Republic unfortunately didn't work out due to bad weather this summer, we now have some hot red news for you from Case IH. We're excited to show you how the Americans will be repositioning their combines from 2025 onwards. In mid-October, we had the opportunity to learn more about the new features of the Axial Flow 260 series. This much in advance. The changes are mainly updates to the intelligence systems installed in these harvesters. The main focus here is on integration with AFS. This is what Case IH calls its platform for functions such as fleet management and telemetry. In the tractor segment, the Magnum and Quadtrack models have recently been integrated with AFS. During our test drive, we were able to put a new 8260 axial flow through its paces during the grain maize harvest. Of particular interest were discussions with a long-standing Case IH customer who uses these harvesters both on his own land and for contract work. New features such as area-specific yield evaluation, job management and online data exchange with a combine harvester are all applications that the farm manager hopes will bring significant optimization and productivity gains. Communication with the manufacturer or dealer supports remote vehicle maintenance. The DLG award-winning Advanced Feed Rate Control radar system is also expected to be available soon on the 260 series. SIH recommends a dual terminal solution for this combine. The hardware is provided by the new 12-inch AFS 1200 terminal. On the pre-series machine we tested, which won't be launched until 2025, the monitor mounts and positioning, as well as the plastic panels, did not yet reflect what the series models will look like. We were also unable to use certain terminal functions that are still under development. One of these is the automatic turning function, which is designed to assist the driver at headlands. With this function, a number of parameters can be set to determine when the turning manoeuvre is triggered and how it will be executed. Another new feature is the visualisation of the grain camera, which can be used to check the crop for broken grains, for example. This technology was already introduced with the AFS Harvest Command on the current 250 series. This test drive production has brought us closer to a new product than ever before. We have also been able to examine it more closely than ever before. This is reflected in our first experience of the 9260, probably the first model to be delivered to Europe. The machine shown here is the Agritechnica exhibit that was about to be transported to the exhibition center when we visited. It had the latest software update installed, so that we were able to see the new user interface on the terminals. Existing Case IH customers will immediately recognize the familiar functions, layout and number of tabs. The second terminal shows track control functions, for example, but can also be set up for other user-defined functions. Here you can see the new driver and passenger seats and the new terminal layout in the cab of this brand new combine harvester. In the top range configuration, the driver's seat features heating and cooling, as well as a very pleasant massage function. The large Axial Flow 250 and Axial Flow 260 combines are built at Case IH's plant in Grand Island, Nebraska, USA. Production of the somewhat smaller 160 series was moved to the Sorocaba plant in Brazil for organizational reasons. The company recently also entered into a partnership with MacDon, a Canadian manufacturer of Draper headers. Case IH has been marketing the Axial Flow single rotor concept worldwide for decades. 
over the past few years, as part of our documentary film productions, we have looked at different generations of axial flow harvesting technology in a wide range of applications. Here, for example, you can see the 88 series during the wheat harvest in faraway Australia or in Russia. We recorded these images during the soya harvest in Brazil. In the USA and Canada, we have had more recent 230 and 240 models in front of our cameras. Just a few weeks ago, we shot our latest film project, Adventure South Africa, agriculture from the Cape to the Kalahari, also with an Axial Flow customer. But let's get back to the product innovations. If you look at the large combine harvester sector, all the major players now have XXL machines in their portfolios. Since Agritechnica 2023 at the latest, it has been an open secret that Case IH is also working on a new flagship model. What we don't know yet is whether it will be a Class 10 or even a Class 11 harvester, and whether the company will still be able to work with a single rotor. These images, provided exclusively to us by Case IH, show that combine. We'll be sure to stay on the ball to bring you a test drive of this new product as soon as possible. You can find many more related videos on our YouTube channel.